Welcome to Iron Reviews, a show where I review Marvel and DC Comics, and today I am reviewing Civil War 2, Issue 0. The comic begins with a court session as Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, is giving her final statement about her client. Her client is Jonathan Powers, aka the Jester. The Jester did not do anything wrong, Jennifer states, that her client has done nothing wrong and he has committed no murder or kidnapping and was just talking shop with a acquaintances that were actually undercover agents in trapping her client. She states that he was just merely talking about his past life and how he could change it differently if he went through his life again and he never put on his costume and then tells the court that they cannot punish someone for thought, they cannot imprison someone for a crime they did not commit. We then move on to James Rhodes, aka War Machine, who is dealing with the terrorist activities going on in Laveria, and confronts the terrorists to stand down. They they do then we go to see Rhodes talking with the president about him taking over and being Secretary of Defense, and then the president going on to say that he wants him to take this first step so he can go on the road to have the president's job and be president. The president knows eventually someone in the hero community will think of being president, and tells Rhodes he has served and helped this country many times, and that this job is open for him, and he would rather want him as president than someone like Tony Stark, who would just buy himself in. We then check in Ohio State University, where we see our first look at Ulysses, and him and other college students see a Terrigen cloud has appeared, and him and uh, another college student are put into cocoons. We then see Captain Mark Marvel at the Triskelion meeting up with a visitor, that visitor being Doc Sampson. Doc Sampson is being called by Carol to talk to. Captain Marvel goes on to talk about how her and the Ultimates have been trying to prevent disasters from happening, and it's all hectic and wishes maybe she can have just a balanced life, a civilian life, and maybe a way to know these disasters from coming. We then go to Director Hill and She-Hulk meeting up, and Hill informing She-Hulk that Jester died in prison. She-Hulk is mad about this and knowing that he was innocent and that he shouldn't have died, but Hill says that she is sorry and that he was a repeat offender. She-Hulk doesn't think so, but Hill thinks he would have done it again. We check back at Ohio University and other college students break out of their cocoons. As the comic ends, Ulysses gets a strange vision of the future and sees the whole world destroyed in flames. Civil War 2 Issue 0 was a great start to Civil War. I really liked how we saw different people's points of view, like She-Hulk thinking that someone shouldn't be punished by a crime they didn't commit, and Captain Marvel thinking that maybe there's a way to prevent crimes and disasters from ever happening. And I really did like the conversation between Captain Marvel and Doc Sampson about Captain Marvel wanting a civilian life, because she really hasn't had a civilian life. She's been busy this hectic superhero life and trying to prevent disasters. It's kind of a big thing. And I also liked how we saw Ulysses before he was inhuman. I mean, we did see him turn human at the end of the book. I mean, it was a short time we didn't see much of human Ulysses, but it was nice to see that and his past life of who he was, and I really like that. I also like the nice conversation between War Machine and the president about War Machine becoming the next president, and maybe we'll see that after Civil War. That would be very nice. Overall, a great issue. It was a great story and great art, and I recommend this comic, and this is a must-read if you want to start reading Civil War. Thank you for watching this, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Twitter at IronHulk018. I'm August, and I will see you next time.